Once again, our top story, a source telling OrangeBloods.com Nebraska is moving to the Big Ten with a formal announcement expected Friday. ESPN's Chris Mortensen reports that Nebraska AD Tom Osborne informed staff members within the last 24 hours that Cornhuskers were going to make the move. Sean Callahan covers Nebraska for Huskers Illustrated, and Sean joins us now on ESPN News for the Nebraska perspective on this story. Sean, how did this all go down? Well, you know, I think uh, there's obviously been the talk of conference realignment, and, uh, you know, for Nebraska, going to the Big Ten, um, it just makes sense for so many different ways, more than just athletics. I think long-term stability. Obviously, uh, nothing's official yet. They haven't officially sign any documents when you talk about this move, but I think when you, when you start to look at what it can do for Nebraska, not only academically, or not only uh, athletically, but academically, the university is going to really benefit in a number of different areas and will really raise their academic profile um, being in a part of a conference like the Big Ten. How many years has this been in the works, if years is even the right time frame? You know, I don't think it's really been in the works for that many years. I, I think for a long time, things were fine in the Big 12 conference. And then when the Big 10 did recently come out, uh, I believe, earlier uh, in the season and said that we want to expand and we want to add teams, then Nebraska's name started getting thrown out into the mix. But uh, I think a lot of people assume that Missouri was going to get the nod over Nebraska if they were just to take one Big 12 team. And uh, it looks like after Notre Dame, Nebraska is obviously the most coveted team the Big 10 would like to add right now. And uh, we should not probably know as early as Friday uh, if that's official. You mentioned that the Big Ten could have gone in any number of different directions. And, you know, there were overtures with Notre Dame and, and Missouri. Why was Nebraska so attractive to the Big Ten? Well, you look at what, what Nebraska does, first of all, uh, athletically. They're, they're one of the top ten uh, highest revenue-producing universities for athletics in the country. Their football team has sold out over 300 straight games. Uh, over 85,000 seats in a big-time football atmosphere, national championships, highs and trophy winners. So great tradition to add into already a tradition-rich conference. Uh, but academically, Nebraska also meets a lot of the standards and a lot of the requirements the Big Ten wants. Uh, Nebraska is a member of the prestigious AAU uh, university organization, uh, which all the Big Ten schools are. And Nebraska uh, just has a lot of those things as well that the Big Ten really requires its members to have. So, Sean, this certainly seems like the right move for Nebraska to make, but what are the potential pitfalls with this move? Well, you, know, you talk about the, the right move. Nebraska is going to do this move because it's going to protect them, as Tom Osborne said last night, for the next 75 to 100, moves, or 75 to 100 years. But you, know, you start to talk maybe some of the pitfalls. Obviously, you lose some of those traditional matchups, like playing teams like Kansas on an annual basis. And you know, Nebraska did lose their biggest rivalry in Oklahoma when they came to the Big 12 Conference. So you really can't say Nebraska um, is losing their rival game because they already lost that when the Big 12 started. They don't play Oklahoma every year like they used to. Uh, but in all reality, I think that some of the, the traveling is going to obviously be a little bit more in the Big Ten when you start to look at going to places like Penn State and uh, other schools like Ohio State and Michigan for Nebraska. It's obviously, uh, I, I think those things, when you start to look at some of the other sports across the board, uh, those are t some of the things that you don't really think about now. But as Nebraska would make this move into the Big Ten, I'm sure uh, the student athletes will notice the, the longer trips to some of these destinations. Of course, uh, in, in speaking of athletics, this is a football move. How do you think the team will do competitively in the Big Ten? Well, I think Nebraska fits what the Big Ten really is. I mean, Nebraska is a very physical, smash-mouth uh, football type of program based on defense. Bo Pelini is an Ohio State graduate, Nebraska's head coach, so he grew up in the Big Ten. Uh, I think when you look at the Big 12 Conference right now, so much of the league has gone to the spread offense, and Nebraska really is not a big fan of the finesse game and the spread offense, and uh, you see that right now with Bo Pelini. They're going more and more to a smash-mouth style of play. Uh, so I think the league really actually will help Nebraska more uh, because it caters more to the style of play that they want to build their program around. Of course, on the field is only one part of this story. How does this move affect recruiting? 
Well, Texas is a big part of Nebraska's recruiting, and that's what the Big 12 Conference brings, obviously with the Big 12 South, the four Texas schools, and the two Oklahoma schools. Each year, Nebraska gets about one-third, if not more, of their scholarship recruits, anywhere from six to ten a year from the state of Texas. So you're starting to see Nebraska's roster really have more scholarship players from the state of Texas than any other state, and that still remains to be seen. But the one thing you can't take away are the relationships Nebraska's coaches already have with high school coaches in the state of Texas. Those aren't things that will go away. So Nebraska will always recruit the state of Texas, uh, and they really only played one game a year in Texas. So I don't think that's going to be as big of a factor if they make this move that people might think that kids from Texas won't want to play in the Big Ten Conference. Sean Callahan from Huskers Illustrated with the Nebraska Perspective. Sean, thanks for joining us here on ESPN News. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot.